Oh yeah. First three points. Chicken Kid. Ta. From that angle, you know, another three points, minus 25, right here in St. Julien, points, 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 points. <laughs> Ah, yeah, and another one, but from that angle, and you know, the ball spinning inside the rim like that, yeah, take some of that, oh yeah, I want to thank myself, my higher self. For this upgrade, you know, suit of juggernaut that I have. It's so worthy, you know. I can face all kind of weather now with this and keep moving my body. Chick killing. Oh, yeah. one went in. All the rest, well, it came pretty close. It's more the area, you know, the collective unconsciousness, you know, the sleeping people, those who are afraid to do what I am doing right now. But I, you know, me, I'm there and like I'm saying, what's, what's afraid to do that? Nothing. Like afraid to not put the ball in? Come on. so hyped to play basketball that I don't care but it probably with the wind and everything you know affect the, the, the ball the trajectory you know that was not a three point that was a two point but I say fuck it you know I gotta go all in on that two point and it's pinning, it's pinned inside the rim, the rim, it was beautiful. Oh, what? What was that? It went really deep in and jumped after. That was crazy. Just for you know, fun fact about right now where I am. And what I am doing here, well, on the door there, it's 04, and on the board, it's 4 4, 3 4 in the row. And this is my second time at that spot, but I never play on that board here. You know, I, I play that one uh, on other basketball. Yeah, so like where I'm playing right now, it's 4 4 4. And it's, you know, the external weather, it's like freezing rain. And my ball is like all froze, by the way. It's like, whoa, did you see that? Oh yeah, I know what it is. There is so much illusion here. 
where I stand between all these houses and, you know, condos and, you know, people are so caught up in the illusion. Oh, I lose my light. Can you believe that? I lose my light. I put one two point in and one two point only in everything what I did here. So let's move on. I gotta change place. But if it was not for that, I would keep going on and going on till, you know, all the three points collide. Oh yeah! Shake it, Kirli! How? You know, it's always extreme conditions here in Canada, but uh, we need to keep moving forward and shake it in style. It's all about doing that. At the pursuit of making goals and dreams come true, and it has to, because we have the heart and we have the will, we have the determination, the discipline, the health to make it happen even when the conditions are not in our favor we are still able to focus on target even if there is so many fail we stick to those who go in since my road trip in Radon today after this you know, epic performance uh, shooting uh, three points in the snow at minus 25. I gained so much energy that when I arrived back home, I don't know what to do with myself. Like, I don't fit, I don't feel to sit in front of my computer. So, you know, it takes a while, but I fall asleep and I make a bad dream. When I wake up, I have like uh, 10 times more energy. I just feel to be active so I start you know uh, lifting weights I surpass what I think I was able to do and now I'm here and I just feel to move so here we go So this is perfect here. It's probably the, the only place where I can find a piece of uh, asphalt where, without the ice or snow. So uh, hey, 
into the unknown because that was not my plan. Oh yeah, I know what's wrong. I noticed that even um, at the other place where the bacon was born, um, I used this glove. And these blue gloves are warm and they are great. But I don't want to break them. For real. I don't know. I think it's kind of uh, taking a big risk, you know? Well, that's what I do. Yeah, but that's why I drop the unbreakable on the floor and I, I, I get problem to pick them up with this glove compared to the other gloves. Yeah. That's it. Power combo move shake kill style. Oh yeah, that was so awesome. So far into the unknown, I'm so far into the unknown that I don't know what to do anymore. I just feel so powerful. Okay, that was a total fail at the end. But, you know, I realized that with these gloves, uh, I don't have a good grip like the other ones, but the other ones I get full hands and not these gloves. So, hey, it's just another level. And, you know, when I do this, I feel unstoppable. I feel so powerful. But I, I, I put, you know, uh, my energy at the right place. That's why I gained this energy, you know. It's not like, uh, just like that. You know, I put, you know, I go out in the right environment. I do what I supposed to. And eventually I unlock this new level of energy. You know, I, I am... Uh, compatible to receive this energy but the thing is that always you know I need to adapt that new energy but it's never easy you know it's never I, like you know uh, nobody really talk about this but every time we upgrade our energy we always need to adapt and it's never gonna be the same because it's never the same level of energy that we receive. It's always more. So, uh, you know, I, I do always the best I can, but if I told, you know, if I told you I cannot sit it's because I got too much energy, well, I need to do something about it, you know? I lift weights and it feel like so easy, but I never lift that heavy, you know? So I'm here, like in the middle of the night and I'm just like like I'm so grateful 
and I, I don't feel like I am like with uh, a spiritual being. I feel like like I, I am on a mission and I'm all alone. Yes, they are around me and everything, like always, but it's it's just me, shaky you know? Sometimes it's like, you know, an uh, uh, angel come embodying me, you know, and I take the energy of that angel. But this this time around, it's it's just me. And, you know, that's what happened, you know? It's... Uh, like I reached that level, you know, and it's really powerful. You know, I was really sure that, you know, I was too far out and I, I would not be able to land on it, and I did. Wow. You know, I'm so grateful to came here, because first of all, that was not the spot I have in mind. And I don't know how it's gonna turn out, because with all this energy, I don't know how I'm gonna perform. Maybe I. You know, sometimes when I got too much energy in the past, I could not handle it and I was missing all my shots. And now, I land all of them. And there is only a couple of one that I miss. Like it's on point, you know. This is so awesome. And that fueled me to push even more. And I'm so grateful and, and, and I love so much I love more my life, even if, you know, I'm not in my dream house and I'm back living with my parents. Well, since I'm back, I did so many change there, I cleaned so much and I, I, I uh, overcome so many uh, obstacles of cleaning in this place that was needed to pass to the next level and to free myself from that, that karma. Uh, you know, uh, because I was smoking cigarette at, uh, back in the days and uh, you know, I washed all the walls and the ceiling and everything and it was a big job, but I did it. Oh yeah, and I'm proud of it. So uh, I know it's just temporary the time I'm there, but uh, you know, I, uh, I do the most that I can with the energy that I got and you know, it, it's my parents, it's like it's not the same energy than me. I, I don't want to put them down, but you know, at 81, 84 years old, I'm 34, and they, there is a huge gap. And uh, uh, you know, they, they, they eat GMO, they, they, they drink alcohol, uh, not me anymore uh, since quite a while now. So uh, there is a huge difference. Uh, but I'm still able to navigate and, you know, with an open heart, I am able to do it. And um, I was not able when I was taking GMO alcohol and drugs and smoking cigarettes. I was not able to keep my heart open and deal with that at that time. So, uh, you know, I have the opportunity to uh, change my life. Uh, and it's by doing the sport that leads me to meditation, to nature, and to stop all bad habits, all addiction, uh, even uh, coffee and sugar. Uh, now I take only a stevia and uh, organic coffee. Uh, that is not really coffee. So um, I'm really proud of me uh, that I make all these changes that lead me to perform more and to be more proud of who I am and to know more who I am and trust the process more and be able to create better content 
and be more in alignment. Always more in, I, you know, I'm always in alignment, but it feels that I am more in, in alignment, in harmony with the present moment. That's it. That's how I feel. And it's cool because I want to make this to perform tonight, but I want to express myself as well, to see myself of how do I feel after this powerful blood moon eclipse, you know, uh, definitely shake it, feel it, feel it to the core. And, uh, you know, uh, when you do good things for yourself, uh, you are allowed to upgrade and, uh, you know, have uh, like a uh, benefit from that uh, new uh, full moon you know that definitely affect all of us but some can affect it uh, can be affected the wrong way because if you do wrong to your to you internally you're gonna receive like the other side of what it can bring to you you know because there is always two sides of a uh, coin uh, and uh, you know uh, that's what I understand along my journey I was not doing what I was supposed to like we all came here to do good but you know if you keep feeding the, the bad side of you you're gonna receive the bad energy you're gonna feed out of it and you're just gonna go on that path but it's not your first thing destination that's what that's not why you came here so when i understand that you know because at that time i was waiting for others to change before me and one day i say they're never gonna change like i see months year pass and nobody change you know so i, I one day i say fuck it you know i i I get enough to do always the same thing. I get enough waiting for others to change. I gonna take charge and do something that I never did and change me. And I gonna show the way. And if they don't follow the way, well, at least me, I gonna feel better about myself each day moving forward. And that's what I did. And it's the sport that lead me to where I am today, four years later, and at the beginning, they were, you know, uh, from China. After I start building my uh, my freelance, my freelance skate, yeah, that become the unbreakable FL. Many prototype uh, fail until that one that is indestructible. They are unbreakable, and I'm so proud of it. They were born prototype X in December in my dream house and uh, here I am. What a beautiful story, right? Oh, oh. And that one doesn't need a combo because it was that Epic, on point, on target. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, come on. I could not make a rebound because it was that epic. It's been a, so long. I think it's the first time. I make, it's not the first time. I make it, I think, one time in the basement, in my dream house. But it's the first time outdoor I am able to do the double hand behind back big shake style point. 